This is Michael Conacher. So this, I was just leaving a message for Chief, Poli Chief of Police Joseph Lay in the uh, Ross Township area. And I was telling him that I, I need to come out of the box here to address what's going on. And so I'm recording this for quality assurance purposes and public reference. And I told you I would buy something. Now it's contingent to one thing. You're offering me a public service and I'm willing to participate in your public service as long as you're okay with me recording this transaction and my communications with you. Are you okay with that? Yeah, sure. Okay, so you're not afraid of the truth? No, I'm not. Good. Oh, we got cars coming here. Here, I'll pull out of the way, so. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go right on that corner. All right, but crank your music, please, all right? <laughs> all right, this is Michael Conacher. Uh, today is Saturday. Today is Saturday, July 27, 2019. So I, I'm interested in, uh, is that called shaved ice? Yeah, we call it the cone ice. The cone ice. What's your favorite flavor? My favorite flavor would probably have to be the tiger's blood. That's a strawberry uh, coconut mixture. I'll try it. Sounds good, just the small one, sir? Yeah, and what's your name again? I'm Jared. Jared, Yep. I spell that. J-A-R-E-D. Hey, J-A-R-E-D. Because some people spell it with a T. Some people, it's, some people spell it so off the wall. I've yeah. seen so many different ones. Yeah. So I'm working on a project here to improve public service. Okay. Of people who perform, who are act as public servants. Okay. Now, especially those that get paid. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, key, you know. Buddy, that's the key. Yeah. So uh, for us volunteers, you know, you gotta give us, cut us a little more slack. But people are getting benefits and paychecks to serve the public. And we need them to stand up, you know. It's not a secret what they're doing. Yeah, and, we and do a lot here in the North Hills area. We do a lot at the High Cliff Elementary School. A lot of what? We, we are at the school actually probably four times a year just to treat all the kids there. Okay. We even do the movie nights over there. Yeah. We hang out at the movie nights. Okay. And then even with some sports organizations, we'll come and hang out at games, and we'll actually donate some of our money back to that organization. Wow. Fundraising. Okay. Yes. All right. Do you want to participate with me in promoting what you guys are doing? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. All right. Um, I'll give you my email address. Do you want to write it down? Yeah, sure. Here, we got a pen. Okay. Yeah, today's Saturday, July 27, 2019, and I was trying to get the time. Do you have the time? Should be 6.30 or 6.45. 6.45, okay. So, Jerry, you're okay that I'm recording this for quality yeah, assurance for purposes sure. and public reference, right? Sure. Which means I'm going to post it on the internet. Okay, that's fine okay. with us. Good. You know, when I told the police officer today that I was going to post it on the internet, he's like, oh, yeah, I don't approve of that. And <laughs> that's probably against the FBI uh, wiretapping laws that yeah. you're not allowed to tap. You know, those laws were created so that the FBI wouldn't beat up on we people by gathering information to connect dots that we couldn't defend. Yeah. I don't have that ability to do that. So these wiretapping laws were created to protect us, not the police. Yeah. So I, I disagree with his assessment. So I'm going to ask his boss to to get him to cooperate there with with us and allow us to publish on the internet okay. what I said to him. And now what are you what are you involved with? It's called Circles of Trust Centered in Truth. Okay. It's a technology that doctors say is delusional and it's uh, grandiose and not possible to exist because it never existed before. Okay. I say they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the process of proving that. Okay. And you know the federal government has paid over a hundred thousand dollars to me and my first Catholic wife related to this matter okay. and uh, they did it through social security disability I'm considered 100 percent incapacitated unable to work for money nah. I told the federal judge that I'm not going back to work for money till I get rid of these two labels these people lied about me to label me as a dangerous person which wasn't the case yeah. and still is not and I got labeled as having psychotic features related to this invention so my email address is Michael dot Conacher dot team. So Conacher spelled C O N I K E R. So Michael dot Conacher dot team, T E A M, at Abaquest, A B A Q 
Q-U-E-S-T.com. And I'll give you a phone number too. It's uh, 412-445-2838. So what we could do, Jared, is establish a scope. How can I promote what you just told me about what you guys are doing without going too far of scope creep getting into all my garbage? Because I got a lot of garbage that I'm collecting and, and addressing with my government. And I'm sure that uh, Klondike Ice and your boss and everybody, they don't want to get involved in all that garbage. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> but they'll be okay with promoting what you're doing for children and stuff like that. You know, because, Jared, I am labeled as being a sick-minded, dangerous criminal, not fit to be around my own children. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something's very wrong with that. And law enforcement's allowing it to happen. And it's been going on for too many years. It started yeah. April 2nd, 2012, and I called 911 the next day because something wasn't lining up. There was too many things, too many cross-check validation failures. So how much owe you for that? $3. All right, $3. All right, am I allowed to give you a tip? Sure. All right. Here, you can take that. Uh, all right, you want to hold this? Sure. You can videotape me if you want. <laughs> so, okay, so I appreciate you doing this with me, Jared. Oh, absolutely. And uh, so I'll give you $5, is that fair? Sure. All right. And you know how to get a hold of me. Correct. So do you have something you could take a picture of me up with? Because uh, what you could do then is attach that to your email. And that's okay. that's considered a digital trust key. There you are. All right, cool. I like that. Thank you. Uh, a digital, is this thing got the light on? I'm going to take yeah, a does. light off. We're outside. I don't need that on. <laughs> I had that on because I was in the Catholic Church reporting some corruption going on there. Yeah, yeah we got to straighten this out with our bishop. So, uh, what was it? Oh, the digital trust key. Can you take a picture of me taking a picture of you? Sure. And uh, so, you know, you got a picture of yourself. And uh, you can do background checks on me and whatever. And let's uh, send me an email and we'll figure out how we can move forward to increase the sales and do whatever uh, you're looking to do. All right, take care, Jerry. Yeah, thank you. All right. Good night. You too. Goodbye.